On February 24, 2022, Nora Matisson was outside playing in the snow with her dad Jed and her sister Mara. And it's a miracle she was, because just one year earlier... Backed up and uh, felt the tractor lift up on the rear end and it was a bad feeling because I looked around and knew exactly what happened. So I pulled around and there she was laying underneath the tractor wheel. Jed and Deanne, Nora's mother, called 911. We looked at what the page was and it said there was a child that was run over by a tractor. You know, trying to picture what the scene was going to be like and um, kind of runs through your head like, are you going to know the family? First responder stabilized Nora, loaded her onto a stretcher, and rushed her via ambulance to Sanford Health in Laverne. I rode with her to the hospital and I remember leaving Jed to start freaking out how scared he was. I was scared for him and I was scared for my daughter. Nora became unresponsive and was airlifted to Sioux Falls. She came in, she was already paralyzed, sedated, and intubated. Skull fractures, um, intracranial bleeding. There was bleeding from the left ear. She also sustained injuries to her lungs, her chest wall, her liver. Nora was a level one trauma patient, the most severe designation. When a brain is injured, it starts to swell. Swelling doesn't usually peak for two to three days. This concerned Nora's providers when they first saw Nora because her brain was already very swollen. We saw some of the significant side effects of that swelling and trauma in that she had seizures and that her pressures inside her head were very high. On day one, I had very um, strong kind of feeling, a concern that she would not survive. However, the severity of Nora's injury. It appeared that the tractor had literally run across the back of her head and crushed that portion of the skull. Ended up saving Nora's life. When patients have severe uh, head injuries with global edema as we take off a piece of the skull, the fracture that she had had already had a free floating piece of the back of her skull. And so that allowed the brain to swell without causing permanent damage in her case. The skull fracture also allowed her providers to treat the intracranial pressure more aggressively, leading to a faster recovery. She was back at home four weeks later. A little over a year later, she's running around playing with her yeah. sisters. Um, how are you feeling today? Oh, wonderful. She's our, she's our miracle child. And that's something Nora herself knows too. Like the other day, my sister was um, riding with her in the car and um, she said, Nora, you are just so cute. And Nora said, I know, because I'm a miracle. And then just kind of out of the blue, she'll be like, remember, Mom, God healed me. God healed me. And yes, he did. Miracles do happen, yeah. In Laverne, Simon Floss, Sanford Health News.